Look across that field over there. Now turn around, look behind you. This is what it's all about, guys. This is what it's absolutely all about. This is what you've been playing since you were five years old for, you understand? It don't get no better than this. Have fun, have a blast. It don't get no better than this. Love every minute of it. Love every minute of it. Love every minute of it. Hey, I enjoyed my time with you, boy. All right, here you go. You know, I thank you for the time. Thank you for giving me a beautiful night, Lord. I pray that you bless, you know, our ability, you know, making sure God's leading the greater things to come, you know, and I pray that, that, you know, you grant us with a victory tonight, Lord, you know, not just any old victory, but two plus touchdowns, Lord, I pray that we put those mofos in the dirt, Lord, I put them in their place, all that stuff, and I just pray that's a victory, Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, let's go, y'all. Enjoy every minute, man. It don't get no better. It don't get no better. Ravenwood High School, established in the fall of 2002. Population, 2,000. Raptor Nation continues to rise in ranks, recently picking up a Blue Ribbon Award for academics and a national rank of 682nd to add to its collection of state championship titles in multiple sports. Ravenwood football has been in contention for a state championship in the recent years, finally making it back to the tournament almost 10 years after taking home their first state championship title. They fought neck and neck with Maryville High School, but a blocked field goal and an interception forced a defeat, leaving the Raptor Nation with their second state runner-up title since 2005. It didn't end the way that we wanted it to, but it ended on our terms. We dictated the outcome, you understand me? I'm proud of you guys. You played your tails off. That's a good football team over there. But I promise you, you're just as good as they are. Many seniors left their football careers on that Tennessee Tech field, but the Raptors had put up a fight, and the next year, they were looking for revenge. 2015 posed as a redemption year. Ravenwood knew what they needed to do, and they delivered in their first three matches. However, the loss against their next opponent served as a lesson in humility and forced the Raptors to believe the fight back to state tournament could not be achieved individually. We knew that after the Centennial game that the team was either going to turn one of two ways and that was either going to you know, be negative and kind of hang our heads and we were hoping and we didn't think that was going to happen. And fortunately, the kids kind of rallied around that and used that as extra motivation and kind of a, a rejuvenation of, of a sort to get back to work and get back to the basics and just continue doing what we needed to do. After that loss, we realized we could be beaten. We could be beaten by anybody at any time, especially the week before we were going into overtime with Mount Juliet. So after realizing that we can lose, it made us practice way harder and way better everybody had even higher expectations. We, we found out we had to work for it. From that game forward, Raptors kept their eyes on the prize. And despite their minor setback of Centennial, the Raptors pulled together for a two-peat district win, proving that they wanted and deserved the ticket back to the playoffs. With an average of 27 points over their opponents, the Raptors made a clean sweep across the state of Tennessee in their 6A class. It was on to the state tournament again, and they had one more team to face until they could take back the state championship title. All right, I think we've all had an uneasy feeling in our stomach for the last 364 days. But unlike everybody else in the entire state of Tennessee, we have one more found themselves on the same field against the same team exactly one year later. The Raptors were ready. Trips left! Trips left! Trips left! Ducks smoke! Ducks smoke! Thank <laughs> you. 
Ravenwood and Maryville went back and forth, trading the lead until the final moments of the first half. The Raptors took a 20-17 lead over the Rebels heading into the locker room. Although they were ahead, Ravenwood could not forget what they had learned against Centennial. Any given team can be beaten any given day. Coach Kupecki, tell me when I got one minute. Is this not the time of your life? Yeah. Is this not fun, an opportunity to play a game for kids at 18, 17, 16 years old in front of 20,000 people? against a team with 44 straight wins. All that kind of great stuff. Is this not just awesome, unbelievably awesome? Yeah. Listen to me. <clears throat> you do not have to do more than your job, but you do have to do your job. Do your job for the next 24 minutes, and we're gonna carry that gold ball back home. Do your job for 24 minutes, and we're gonna carry that gold ball back home. Play the game the way it's meant for us to be played. Like we always talk about, be a light. Be a light. Let your game be a beacon to everyone else. Let what you do in life lift everybody else up. Let everybody in those stands see you and say, those guys play with a sense of passion in their heart, a sense of love for each other. And by gosh, they got after it tonight and they had a ball doing it. You understand me? Yes, I, can. I, can. I, will. I will. I can. I can. I will. I will. I can. This was the last chance for Ravenwood's veteran seniors to redefine their high school football careers by avenging their shortcomings from the year before. By forcing turnovers and making great use of their star kicker, Cruz Holt, the Raptors pushed back against the Rebels with everything they had, and their work was not in vain. Nate Stoner picked off the Rebels' offense in the end zone, adding a third interception to the Ravenwood's defensive stats and finalizing their defeat. The same seniors that walked away heartbroken a year ago and finally put an end to the 11 time state champion title streak upheld by Maryville. Some continued their football career into college while others decided to focus on a degree or a different sport. But all of those Ravenwood football seniors left high school with the satisfaction of knowing they redeemed the Raptor name and left no doubt in anyone's mind that they could finish what they started.